Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. I want to do a quick little tutorial for you. Uh, what this is is <clears throat> it's going to be a tutorial about um, a visibility uh, parameter. It's a pretty cool little tool that you can use for lots of different reasons. I'm just going to show you real quick. So I have here I have a wall with three windows in it. Now I'm going to edit the wall family. Click yes. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to the elevation and draw some sort of mullion or something on the window. So I'll do a solid form, pick plane. I'm going to pick the piece of glass. And I'm not going to make this uh, parameter right now just because I want to show it for this. So let's just say I put this little uh, mullion on here. It's going 3D. You can see the mullion. Here's my mullion. Let me, uh, let's go into the floor plan now and change the height of that thing. <clears throat> so I'm just going to lock this real quick. Okay, so this is the... Um, actually, this is glass. Let me... Let me uh, let me undo the glass for it. So I'm going to change the material. Leave it to default. Solid. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. Uh, well, if I load this back in the project and click yes, you'll see my millions appear. Or you should have. There they are. So you can see the millions. Now I didn't make them parametric, so they're kind of uh, a little stuck. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the family. I'm going to go to the exterior. And I'm going to grab this mullion. So now this is what I wanted to show you guys. If you click uh, Element Properties, you could have the visibility graphics. So you could change them. I, I, if you remember from my Windows one, you could change them in Plan View, Turn Off, uh, One Plan View when they're cut. You change all these options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a visibility parameter. So if you see where it says Visible, over to the right over here, there's a little box. You're going to click that, and you can see here it brings up a associated family parameter. So I'm going to click Add Parameter. I'm going to call it mullion on slash off. And I usually like to make these a graphics parameter. Click OK. Now, if you see it made it on the list, you click OK. OK. Now I'm going to load this back into the project. Yes. So now, what this allowed me to do is it allowed me to turn this mullion on and off within the family. So I can go to my element properties and go to edit slash new. And if you see right here, it says mullion on off. I click Un uncheck it, click apply, and click OK. And you can see all my millions turned off. So now if I wanted to, I could click edit and I could duplicate this window and say with mullion, click OK, turn the mullion on, click apply, and then only this one window has the mullion. So as you can tell, that can be very powerful to different families. And just a little tip I wanted to show you guys. And I will see you around.